everybody, this is Spartanato, and welcome to another episode of The Walking Dead Road to Survival. This time, talking about the Flash Roadmap, Earl Stockpiles, and on top of that, we got a new promo. It's Jesus. Jesus is in the house. I know that sounded wrong for all of you guys out there, but hey, Jesus is always in the house. Remember that, guys. He's always ever present. Anyway, let's talk about this Jesus, shall we? So he's got a 45 AR, deals 650 damage to one enemy, and this character gets 45 attack and 45 defense for two turns. Um, okay. He's a great nuker, if you ask me. He's a great leader as well, because all melee teammates get very large bonus to AP when attacking and 30% attack. So it's something like that Negan. However, he's got 800 attack, 800 defense, and almost 1100 HP. So his stats are decent. His adrenaline rush is also decent. He's a great nuke, and, you know, after he nukes, he gets strong. He gets 45 attack next turn and defense, so he cannot be that easily killed. But on top of that, guys, when you open 35 or more, you get 6,000 of these. You get one of these crates, which you're probably going to get one bandana, and then you get one of these, which you're probably going to get 400. Also, in this new Premier's recruits, there's several recruits from Hilltop, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. I want to talk about these tokens, guys, and what you can get from them. So, you can get this Earl, who is, well, to be honest, He's good. No, he's not. He's fucking shit. Check that out. He's got 75 AR, which is slow as fuck. And in my opinion, 55 defense, 55 attack, and 55 crit for three turns. Man, that's only good for survival, bro. Like, nobody's going to use that in raids ever. If you guys see somebody with Earl on their defense team or raid team, please send him a message. Tell him, yo, fucker. Change that guy from the fucking team because nobody likes to see Earl in battle. He's so slow. He's so shitty. He's only good if your region is overpopulated by greens, which you can use him as your defense leader. And then he's going to give you that 45 defense against those strong characters. But that's it. Nothing else, guys. Okay? And if you're lucky enough to get this Carl, well, fuck you. Seriously, fuck you because you're the luckiest person alive. And everybody in this whole wide world will be jealous of your Carl pull. So if you pull that fucking Carl on a single pull, five pull, I don't care. Fuck you. Because you're seriously the luckiest person alive. This Carl is a badass. 45 AR, 250 damage, and minus 20 AP to up to four enemies. On top of that, he's got neutralize. He's got 900 attack, 800 defense, and 1000 HP. Wow. So with this guy, 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 it's time to do, 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 So with this guy on your defense team, you're seriously gonna do major control of the battle and major winning. <laughs> got bleeding. As I was talking, guys, in my previous videos, you can see it here in the description. Bleeding is going to be a major factor in the future because Scopely is releasing more and more characters with bleeding effects, hemorrhage, and all those big bleedings such as Romanov or, I don't know, Maggie or Abraham with hemorrhage or Tara that we got from war last week. So bleeding is going to be a major effect in the future, guys. It's going, probably going to be in the meta because the meta will shift soon. That's just my opinion, my prediction. So keep an eye for it, guys, because bleeding is going to be awesome. And then beside these two characters, we got a lot of these weapons, which, you know, they're just four-star weapons, which we will all probably get. There's this four-star Carl with neutralize as well. 350 damage to one enemy and all adjacent on 56 AR. Not bad. 800 attack, 800 defense. Not bad at all. And then there's a lot of these pistols, which nobody gives a fuck about, but we will most likely get these four-star weapons, guys. There's a lot of them. Seriously, there is a lot of them. And in my opinion, we're all going to end up getting these weapons. Those a few... Those of you that are lucky enough to get Carl, I swear to God, you guys can go fuck yourselves <laughs> because I, I'm jealous of you guys. I'm jealous of your luck and I'm jealous because I never get shit on my first pull or my 10 pull or any pull in this game so far. So yeah, I'm, I'm fucking jealous because, you know, this game is shit and it doesn't work for me. I'm just kidding, guys. Good luck. And if you get Carl, I'm seriously happy for you guys. I was just kidding about it. That's it, guys. You've seen what's inside this roster, and now we're going to go to the stage itself because I think the stage is up. Yep, there we go. We're just going to complete the stage. I'll fight anyway. I don't give a fuck about weapons. Probably going to get three to four. Oh, let me try to use drop leaders if there's any. There probably should be any. I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to switch to, uh, let's say, yellow team. Do we have a yellow team? Yeah, we let's go yellow. With a Rick as a drop leader. And let's break it down quickly, guys. So basically, 
these roadmaps appear every six hours and are going to be here for, well, six days, right? And then every six hours, you can complete this roadmap because it only lasts for 90 minutes. Now, on top of that, once you completed a stage, you can repeat any of the stages as many times as you want to get bonus additional tokens. So after you complete a stage, you get a token drop. Now, my luck is shit lately, so all I've been getting is like 10, 15, 20, and 25 tokens. When I'm lucky, I get 100, but that's one out of like 5, 6, 10 tries. So guys, let me know your luck. I heard there's people getting 1,000 tokens already from the drop. I've never seen those, to be honest, and I'm looking forward to them. Let me see what I've got right now. I'll show you guys there. You see 10 and 75 for finishing the stage. Shit. That's so bad. That's so freaking bad, guys. Let's go. Uh, we got five more stages to go. And once we, you know, beat these guys, I'll, I'll show you guys how many tokens I got from these like five stages total. It's probably going to be like around 100 to 200, in my opinion. So basically, judging by luck, every six hours, you get 100 to 200 tokens from the drop and then 75 multiplied by six from the stages. Okay, that's like 450 tokens plus 200 or 100. That's like, you know, you get on average 550 to 650 tokens every six hours. That is if you do not farm the stages. But if you continue farming the stages, you can get up to 1,000, 2,000, depends what your luck is and if you get those 1,000 tokens drop or not. Now, like I said, guys, I've seen people in my faction getting those 1,000 tokens, and to be honest, that's fucking amazing. I would love to get those. I would love to, but I know that I will. No okay, 100. That's not bad. That's actually decent. 100 is good. It's always good. And I've, I farmed all of the stages so far, and I think I have less than 3,000 tokens. I farmed, this is the third stage that's, that just came up, and I farmed the previous two of them. And after I finish this one, I will have less than 3,000 token guys, which in my opinion is shit. But in order for you guys to do a pull and actually get something, I think you need 9,000 9, tokens. Now, bear with me, guys. <sighs> Getting that Carl will be like a dream come true, you know? If I were to get him, he's so strong in any way, and he's just amazing too, an amazing character. He's got neutralized. He controls the battlefield with those AR minuses. So. Up to four enemies, guys. That's like having that, you know, neutralized blue Herschel, who's one enemy in all adjacent. But four is also very good. You know, reducing that AR so they cannot pop at the same turn. That's very good. And the best part about it is that that Carl is super strong. He's super fast and neutralizes just the ability that kicks off in every battle and wins it for you. So you don't have to stress about it. I hope everybody gets a Carl. Seriously, I would love for all of you guys to get a Carl and... I would love for Scobly to actually finally give something to us because this token event is shit in my opinion. It's so hard to farm them and we get nothing out of it. Okay, let's complete these three last stages. Then I'm going to show you guys what, how many tokens I have. Should I use a drop leader again? Yeah, we'll use one of these cans. I got 47 left. I started with 50 last night and I have... No, I started 52. I'm sorry. Plus the free energy. So I, w I, did, I did like... Five, six free energy turns. Full energy turn, sorry. So, yeah, I was farming a lot last night. The first stage that came out, I, I farmed it for the whole 90 minutes. And to be honest, guys, I got 1.3 thousand tokens. Okay? Total, after farming for 90 minutes, I got 1,300 tokens. Now, my faction mate, who got two times 1,000 tokens, he ended up or she, I'm not going to say who it is, because it, it's really not, it doesn't matter. He or she ended up with almost 4,000 tokens. And I was like, how is that possible? And the person said that, you know, they encountered two times 1,000 token drop. So there you go, guys. It's possible. They farmed many minutes, and they got almost 4,000 tokens. And you need 9,000 to make a pull. Goddamn dog, shut the fuck up, you fucking dog. Stop barking. I'm trying to make a video here. Yeah, that's my neighbor's dog. It's fucking annoying as fuck. If you guys can hear it in the video, I apologize for it. But what can I do? Dogs will be dogs, right? Anyway, let's go back. Yo, dog, shut it. Anyway, guys, if you are lucky enough to get those tokens, then, you know, 1,000 tokens, leave it in the comments down below. I want to know how many of you guys actually got those tokens. And how many times did I drop for you? Because for me so far, I did uh, 18, 
no, I did around 40 stages total, maybe 50 if I'm not, yeah, maybe 50 or more. And I, I still haven't received a single 1,020. See, I would get 20. Oh my god. No, I don't care about upgrading characters. I just want to finish this and move on. Oh, forgot I, I forgot to put a drop later. Fuck my life. But anyway, let's keep going. We got one more stage to go after this one, and then I'll show you guys how many tokens in total I have. Of course, I'm going to continue farming as soon as I'm done with the video, but I want to show you guys, you know, I want to boost your luck a bit tell you like boost your morale and say like yo guys you can do it like you know just keep farming everybody should keep farming because eventually we all might have a chance at that carl and you know that's a chance i'll take any day the same thing was with those telltale tokens when we all had a chance to get a lee or michonne oh my god you know just you know knowing that you have a shot at one of the shields is just incredible even though 99.9% .9 of us didn't get any of those it's still a good thing to know that you actually have a shot you know Come on, be a thousand tokens. Motherfucker, 20 again. Okay, last one, guys. Here we go. And again, I forgot to put a drop leader. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, fuck it. I, I heard the drop leaders don't help here. You just get, like, weapons and characters. I, I don't need that. I'm here literally for the tokens and nothing else. And for all of you guys asking, why is my Rick's ice pick fucking green and you know, legendary. Well, let me show it to you guys. It's freaking legendary. 30 HP, 30 defense, and reflex, motherfuckers. I was going for that absolute defense, but I got a reflex. What can I do? No luck, I guess. And Jesus has a 30 attack, 20 defense, 20 HP. I still have to build those 20 defense and 20 HP into 30, 30, 30. I want to have a balanced weapon. Because yellow is literally the most balanced class, in my opinion, when it comes to stats. They all have like, you know, similar stat rates, so they're very good. That's why I want to balance those weapons and have them at the same rate. Everybody else, I think, just using these critical... No. Oh. Okay, never mind. They're just using defensive ice clan picks. 30 defense, not bad. This team I just made for, you know, zombie stages, survival road, or any other road where I use Rick as a drop leader for my fast teammates. But, you know, it's not, a you know, the best team, but I just made it to quickly peel through zombies and it's working so far okay the last stage is over let's go quickly check the results please be a thousand tokens please cthulhu please gods of scoping please gods of the walking dead send me a thousand tokens please motherfuckers okay 275 Ooh, that's nice okay and let's go check these token guys we got okay so 3.5 out of 9.5 we are like one third away from it. We still have a long way to go, guys. But it ends in five days. So I think that I will be able to do maybe two pulls if I'm lucky. Like I said, guys, this event is shit. And Scopely once again showed us that this event sucks balls. Now, I know, you, I know a lot of you guys will say, like, oh, come on, Spartanato, stop bitching about it because they give us free four star weapons and they give us a free chance of getting one of these tunes. Well, fuck you, man. Fuck you saying that because they're not giving it free, motherfucker. You gotta spend those fucking world energy points and cans. You gotta spend your time. You gotta get online every time there's a freaking map. So you're investing your real life time getting online at the exact moment when this map pops on to farm it for 90 minutes, which you can, you know, spend getting laid somewhere or with your wife or girlfriend or boyfriend. So, you know, you're spending your time, your precious resources, and you're spending your world rate re refills to get these tokens. So it's not for free, if you ask me. Okay? It's not for free. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, leave a thumbs up. I'm sorry the video got so long. But, you know, I was just trying to show everything for you guys. You know, make sure everybody gets it. And leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting more videos on a daily basis, guys. Spartan out. See you guys tomorrow in another video.